Greetings, fellow traveler. Today, I would like to remind you that some of the toughest or hardest lessons that we learn are from those that hurt us the most. Now, by that, I'm not saying that some of those outside of us have the intent to hurt us. But there are sometimes large events, large situations, sometimes subtle details that not only show you who a person is, but makes you confront who you believe them to be. I say this because I remember a time when I was, uh, I think I was in my twenties and it doesn't matter. I remember a time there was an issue I had with some of those close to me. And during that period, I wanted to believe that I could change them. I could change the way that I was perceived because I was accused of certain things that I blatantly did not do. And I recall, I went to somebody for guidance, this older person. And he told me something that profoundly changed the way I perceive communication with those people in my life. He said that, and I'm paraphrasing, it's been years. He said, when the story gets out, make sure you're the first one to tell it. Now, I didn't understand how big that was for me. Because what they were showing me was that for them, the truth didn't matter. The first person to relay a story is the one telling the truth. Or that's how it's perceived in the public. Now, years later on my journey, I realized how often I believed the first thing that I was told, just as many of us do, and held that as a standard for how I moved forward with my perceptions. Now, this is not just personal relationships. This is with anybody, with the institutions. It's interesting to see how many times we take the first thing we hear as true. Or the first time we hear of something whether it's about a person, place, thing, doesn't matter, a belief. We, most of the time without really realizing it, we take that as being the truth. Or once it has been told us, it's just, if it's the first that we've heard of it, we establish that as the expectation. And anything that comes after that is scrutinized. But the first time you hear it, it's not as scrutinized. See, for me, that was very telling of the mentality that I was dealing with at the time within myself and with others. Because clarity wasn't important. Understanding wasn't important. Communication amongst conflicting parties was not important. It was simply about being the first one to tell it and controlling the narrative. Now we see this in all aspects of life, right? We see it in entertainment industry. We see it in the news. We see it in politics. We see it at work. We see it in family, friends. It's part of the reality that we live in. I just want to remind you that many a time, the first thing that we hear about something or someone usually isn't the truth. Sometimes it has an element of truth in it, which helps sell the story. But I share this with you because I want to remind you of the power that we have to discern when we hear information. Even when it comes to whatever I share, 
exercise your discernment. Because along our journey, we're told so many twisted tales to, in essence, allow others to have agency over our belief. And many a times, it's more about the agenda, not the intent to better your knowledge, to help you be more informed. Many of the times, it's about pushing an agenda to you in a way that allows it to be the first agenda that you know of. I don't know if that makes sense for some of y'all. To, to me, it, it, it sounds right as rain, but I understand if it's not, I won't say a foreign concept, but I understand if I could articulate it better for you. Nevertheless, remind yourself of the, agent, of the true agency that you have in your life. Remind yourself that the first thing that you hear is available for just as much scrutiny as the last thing you hear. And find your peace somewhere within it. If you feel so inclined, some things is okay to just blatantly ignore. Keep it moving. That's fine too. No judgment here. But I want to remind you of how much power you have in being able to exercise not only your discernment, but in stepping into your true inner authority and have an agency over your life, over the stories you tell, and over the stories that are told to you. I think that's a good place to leave it for now. Until next time, be blessed. And please, don't forget to smile. Mm -hmm. Duck it.